Hey, so uh, you're gonna spread my cheeks and munch it from the back and go ham on that shit, or uh... I'll take that as a no. Can we split the bill, please? If he's not talking to multiple girls, it's kind of a red flag. Like, why does no one want this one? No one wants this one? Why not? What's wrong? Was there a conversation that I missed? See, this is how a lot of women think. If you don't have a woman, if you can't get women, if you're not pre-selected, she won't want you. This is why all these chicks keep choosing these guys who are players, because those guys are attractive. Uh, most women don't like doing the work. They don't like, you know, figuring out the guy, if he's a good guy, he's a quality guy. So they say, well, you know, if he has a girlfriend or if he has a wife or if he has a baby mom or two, he has to be a quality guy. Think about it. When you're out and about at the mall or a, a grocery store or wherever, and you had a girlfriend or you're walking around with a chick, other women are gravitating towards you. They're looking. They're like, hmm. Because in their mind, you're a quality guy, and they want a piece of you. You must be great in the bedroom. You must make a lot of money. You must uh, check off all these boxes. This is the female mind. This is how they think. He's my brother. Of course I look up to him. My sister's a fucking cunt. Aiden. We're saying you have to say nice things about me. Oh. Yeah, okay. My brother's really good at racing. My sister's really good at jumping from dude to dude. Aiden, what did I just tell you? <laughs> That's oh, not true. Shit, my bad. Yeah. He's the oldest. Of course I'm the favorite. Of course she's the youngest, and she's got a higher body count than me. Aiden, stop. I'm not gonna fucking do this if you fucking make up lies. Out of all our old trucks, my truck's the best. Of course, your truck's gonna be better when daddy pays for it all. Okay, I'm fucking done. You're done. You're done. I never get hit on when I go out. Like, I think my outfit is so cute. I, where, where are the men that like this? I'm waiting. What she's trying to say is, we're the guys that I find attractive who are gonna approach me. See, if you're a guy that she doesn't really like or she don't find appealing, and you approach her, she's going to shoot you down. She's going to reject you. A lot of women feel as though just because I put on an outfit, just because I look like this, just because I show some skin, well, I deserve attention. What are we doing here, guys? Hmm. This is pretty good proof to me. Oh, yeah. hey, I'm video recording you, buddy. Video recording you and you got prison time, not me. Right. Hey, Charlene. All I'm gonna what are we doing here, guys? Hmm. This is pretty good proof to me. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm video recording you, buddy. Video recording you and you got prison time, not me. Right. Hey, Charlene, all I'm going to say is, are you coming with me or are you staying with this guy? What? Why would you even ask that question? <laughs> A lot of guys don't have any options. This is why they put up with crap like this. And she probably knows it too. You got to drop her, man. Don't give her an ultimatum after you caught her with another dude. Looked like it was probably her lunch break too. Pick or choose right now. And because, you know what, we've screwed the last two nights, she sucked my, and professed to me that she's going to, loves me and wants to be with me forever. And I have it on audio, actually, I'll send you the file just so you. See, what he doesn't understand, the guy that's recording and talking, that dude right there, he's probably a bad boy. He don't care about, you know, what she did yesterday. She don't care if she go home with you. He's just trying to hang out, smash real quick and have a good time. He's talking about, I got on record, I got, I got this, she told me she loved me. Women can tell you that they love you all they want. Th th those are just words. And she probably did that, you know, gave him a little pity sex to make him feel good. And now she's going to be with whoever she really desires to be with. And that's this guy. Believe me. And she swore, you know what she said to me last night? She said, I swear on my kids' lives, Ryan, that I'm not doing anything with Stefan anymore because it was always only about his daughter. And now that that's done, we're done. But clearly that's not the case, is it, Charlene? Stop. I'm so embarrassed. I just tried cold approaching a guy and got completely shut down. Can someone tell me how to flirt with a man? 
I was at my favorite coffee shop and this guy I've noticed the last few times was there in front of me in line and he was totally my type. Oh, I read in a book that you should share a fun fact to break the ice. I finally mustered up the courage. I tapped him on the shoulder. I might have smiled. I don't remember, but I know I did blurt out, hey, do you know that sharks are older than trees? I wasn't sure what he would say, but I was like, who doesn't love sharks? I wasn't expecting him to just stare at me blankly for what felt like an eternity and then finally say, that's not true. My book did not cover someone countering my fun fact. He's just supposed to think it's funny and fall in love with me. At this point, I don't even want my- <laughs> For stars, look what she's wearing. She might as well not have anything on. Remember, women are attention junkies. That's number one. Number two, they don't understand how it feels to approach somebody. Because they always get approached and they always do the rejecting. But the one time they actually do it, they try it out and they'll go for the person that they want. They don't feel good when they get rejected. Then they have to vlog it. Imagine if a man vlogged every time he got rejected. <laughs> it would be endless vlogs on, on TikTok and social media. My coffee anymore. My stomach is in my throat and my brain is blank. He sees me struggling to keep the conversation going. So he's like, yeah, trees are hundreds of years old. Oh, now he has a fun fact and it's not feeling very fun for me at all. <laughs> my palms were sweating and I all I could say was, uh-huh, okay. He just turns back to facing forward in the line, ignores me. I wanna run out of the coffee shop, but I was like, you know, if I do that, I'm just gonna look even stupider. Ugh. Oh my god. I hate dating apps as a plus size woman because they've only revealed like men's evil like true intentions to me and I honestly feel like a piece of meat. And look, I actually made two like Tinder accounts with different pictures but all my same information. The skinny girl was getting offered on dates, guys were offering to like send her money, random shit, and me, it's like sexual questions like right off the bat, like no respect. And don't get me that's typically how it goes on dating apps. If you are a bigger chick, let's be honest, guys, a lot of you are just like, man, I'm just trying to smash. Reason being is because she's subconsciously telling everybody through her profile that she doesn't value herself. A woman who's fit and in shape, guys want to invest in for the most part. Women who are bigger and chunkier, guys are like, you know, she don't respect herself, so why should I quote unquote respect her? Hey, let's, you know, smash, let's hook up, come over real quick. He's not trying to take you on a date me wrong i have been on dates and i have like engaged with people that were like decent from dating apps but the reception of being like plus size versus straight like straight size is completely just say in shape not straight size just say fit different like let me know if you guys agree down below that's actually why i'm on a fitness journey because i know to get better options i have to be better option and i don't hate myself like i love my body but I just don't like the way that people treat me because of my body and the way that my body has positioned me in society, if you guys know what I mean. I am absolutely convinced that men don't actually want relationships. Like, men want their lives as is. They want to go about their day exactly as it is, do whatever they would normally do, and just want somebody there when it's convenient for them. I'm going to be honest with you. She is kind of right. Because us men are simple. We want to go to work. We want to go to the gym. We want to hang out with our friends. And we want peace above all. Women want excitement. They want a guy who's funny. They want a guy who's confident. They want a guy who's going to take them on trips. They want a guy who take them on dates, buy him a dog, go with the in-laws, buy him a house, get married to him, do this, do this, be adventurous. be Us men, we just want a woman who's nice, pleasant, and peaceful. And this is why it seems like we don't want a relationship because a lot of women don't exhibit those qualities. Or, you know, for the things they want to do. Like, I'm convince me I'm wrong. Relationships, you know, can be like a second job for men. That's why a lot of guys like just hooking up. You have to be a really good woman to for a man to say, you know what? Okay, you know, you can be with me. I can take you into my home. I can take, I can bring you a part of my world. A lot of guys are like, I ain't doing that, man. Especially if he has options. Watching my ex thrive, it's a beautiful thing. But it's really triggering for me because I walked away with literally having to start over. 
The reason why it's triggering for her and for a lot of women is because they want to be the source of your happiness. Think about it. When a woman leaves you and breaks up with you or divorces you or takes the kids, she wants to see you break down. She wants to see you beg her back because a lot of women, unfortunately, they want to be the source of why you smile. But if you're smiling for other reasons, let's say you get a girlfriend or you get married to another woman or you get a raise or promotion or you get that new car. Now she's like, oh, it's, it's so triggering and, and, and I'm angry because this guy is, is, is happy. It's crazy, man. After 12 years of, of starting over, of wondering if I'm going to be able to keep a roof over my head.